Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Johnston Fishing, and today we're going to go over my ice fishing gear for early ice. So the first thing I got is my Elixir ice jig box. It's a four-sided waterproof box. So I got my ice jigs right there. I need to get some more, but that'll last me for the beginning of the season. And then I got my jig and spoons and jig and crankbaits. So the first one I got is this Japanese, I forgot the name is. And this one's a Johnson jig and spoon, and this one's a Swedish pimple, and this is a Thunder Mist. Now I'm probably colder. And then, of course... Ice bobbers, some jigs. If you've seen the mystery tackle box and boxing, you know these are. Same with these. Other than so, for my rods, I've had this one for about three years now. It's working really well. It's the ugly stick GX2 medium action 28 inch. It's just your basic, uh, I think it's fiberglass rod. Yeah, it's fiberglass. Other than I did get this new one uh, yesterday. It's this Celsius 24 inch light action rod that I got for, uh, what's it called, panfish. I got a slip bobber. And then I got a spring bobber on there because I don't want to lose it, so I just put it on there. I think it's a football jig. Um, and then next I have my sonar unit. This is a hummingbird uh, for Onimax 197C. All right, so here's the sonar and the battery box that I made for it. So I will turn this on. It's just your basic uh, color uh, fish finder, hundred dollars. I got it for fifty on clearance. But it gives you all the information you need to know. It's not the most accurate depth, it's within three feet, so that's all you really need. You see my depth, my uh, temperature, and my density. And uh, reds, the darker the color, the more dense it is, so that's a rocky bottom. There's a boulder right there. That's just a whole bunch of little vegetation, and then you got like a log right here. Oh, then, so let me show you the inside of this. I'll power that off. Um, so this is the inside, I got two six volt Duracells series together. Just soldered the wire on. So that is my sonar setup, and now I'll show you my auger setup. So this is my auger. It is a Eskimo 8-inch hand auger. And the reason I chose a hand auger is, well, first of all, it's about a quarter of the price of a, what's it called, a gas auger. And uh, also it's way lighter uh, than my sled. It's just your sledding sled, just your, when they have your phone on an ice fishing sled. I'm going to modify this, that way I can actually use it more properly for ice fishing, because this auger likes to fall off. And uh, so, I hope you guys liked the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.